What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? See? I put all my tools that I'm gonna be using today in this bag. Every single thing. Take it out of my pocket. It fit nicely. What's poppin' homies? It's your boy Frank Nitty back in the building. Yo, I'm en route to uh, Mall Millennia. I know, I vlogged it recently. But we got two pairs of shoes that came out. Plus, plus, I gotta meet up with a homie, man. I gotta give him a pair of shoes. I'll see y'all when I get there. It's a beautiful day out here today, y'all. Even in the winter time. Florida, I have to admit, do have nice weather in the winter. These clearly are not my size, but they're going to a good home, man. I'm giving them to a homie who helped me out get, get in the uh, military black forest. I like these. I like these a lot. All right, man, so the homie Kareem came through and picked up this nine and a half to yours. Bless the boy. Say what up, man. <laughs> All right. All right, so there they go, man. Those are the Air Jordan 3 black cement gold, I think. Guys. You guys hear that? In the vlog, the audio is slowed down. I don't know how, or maybe there's like a disconnect somewhere, but it gets better, man. So continue watching, the audio will speed up and get back to normal, man. So I apologize about the horrible, horrible quality at the moment. All right, man, let's keep watching the vlog. All right, so here we go, y'all. These are the Air Jordan 11 IE. I think these are called the Org Wood Brown, I think. I'm not too sure. But anyways, man, I want to take a look at these in person. Here they go. The retail price is $185. They came out today. I'm not sure when you see in this video. Um, what you guys think about this, man? I do have a pair of IEs, just not this color. IEs, you know, not much people go after them, but I think they're dope. I think they're dope. Now, would I get this shoe? Maybe. But it had to be uh, below retail. At $185, they have released... It's gonna have to be a pass, man. But I'm not mad at it, man. Not mad at it at all. I think they're dope. Now, guys, I just vlogged this spot, man. But if you guys care to know what's in here, why I'm here, you still got the sevens, you still got the six, which I love. These Georgetown joints. You got these uh, one mids, which we have seen before. I got a pair of these, and also these uh, white, black, and yellow joints. They're in the building. I'll see the IEs. They got the self twelves, which I'm gonna have to pass, politely pass. One shoe I do like, and I still want to get below retail are these, man. These are fire. What in the world are these, man? These are the new Air Jordan 1 mids with the picnic table swoosh. It's also on the tongue tag. These are different, yeah. These are the threes. These are the black cement gold joints, I guess. I'm not sure. Oh, these are women, clearly not men. If it was men, I have to politely pass. It's not something I like. Oh, shoot. Almost dropped it. Oh, okay. There we go. Um, do have a hang tag on there, but that hang tag is also gold. Red Jordan Jumpman. Go hits, dominantly all black, cement print around the toe box and back heel, Jordan ear on the back, red, gray, and white underneath. Visible ear unit both on the medial and lateral side of the shoe. These joints are hitting for, I want to say, two something, y'all. You know, Nike and Jordan brand don't put prices on the box anymore. No, there's no price on the box. Anything significant on the other shoe than the left shoe? Nah, they're all the same. I think that's pretty much it. That's what I came to see. I have done that. Oh, and you get the cement wax paper. I am Gucci. I am Gucci. My guys, I have not seen these mids ever. The material is very soft though. This is different. What y'all think about this, man? It looks like it's a woman's shoe. 135 is the price. Different, yo. So different. Here's another shoe I haven't seen. These Air Jordan 12s, I forgot what they're called. But it's royal blue and black, white hits on the outside. Oh yeah, clearly is a woman's shoe, a GS shoe. Uh, 200, really? Yo, 200 for these? And lastly, these ones, yo. So many people hit me up about these shoes, man. I'm glad I was able to provide you guys access to some of these shoes, man. I can't tell you how many people hit me up. I'm trying to get them up here. I try to help as much people as I could. Yeah, now they don't have big sizes in these. Unfortunately, it's has small sizes. So all the men's that try and get these shoe, yeah, it's gonna be a no-go. They're going for 180. Got that LeBray right here, Jordan. It's not really LeBray. I, I do like them, man. I'm not mad at them. They're dope. Oh, if I get out of here, guys, let me show you guys one more thing. They got the Panda Dunks, yo. 
And the reason why I call them the Panda Dunks is because look at the tongue tag. A lot of people don't know this, man. When you don't have the red Nike tongue tag, they're not Panda Dunks. If it's black, those just white and black dunks. But because this has a red Nike uh, tongue tag, these are considered the Pandas. This is a huge size. Well, not really. It's a size 12, my size. But I'm going to have to politely pass. I do not wear dunks like that. Anyways, just want to show you guys what's in the building. Say where they got the Latrell Sprewell jersey in the building, size eight New York Knicks. It's dope, y'all. <laughs> hey guys, I'm pulling up to the trophy room. I got two questions for them. One, what about those Air Jordan One taxis? Have they got them yet? And lastly, I heard they got some uh, Nike Air ships in here. Let's find out. All right, here we go. Well, it's uh, yeah, it's getting cold too. Yeah. All right, here they go, y'all. The Air Jordan. <laughs> the the ear ships, y'all. Nike ear on the back heel, Nike ear on the tongue tag. These are orange and white. I'm not sure the price of these, a 150, 150, man. What y'all think about these? I know the bands went crazy. I know people jumped on that black and white pit, and I think they came out with a red and white as well. Well, this is orange and white. Not bad for 150, man. I'm not sure what sizes they have left. And lastly, they still got the heirlooms. You just not getting the t shirt and uh, dust bag. Like men's closet, they're going for 180. Fire shoe. Guys, one last stop before I make it to the crib, man. We're gonna stop at Hibbit Sports. This is over off of OBT. Um, it's also opening a new one way over there in the corner. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It's right next to uh, DTLR. But anyway, let's go in the building and see what's popping. All right, yeah, I'm trying to see if I can come up on something. Oh, they do got the 11s in here too as well. The Orgwood. Brown, I guess. I think that's what it's called. We took a look at those at JD Sports today. There was also in Foot Locker, which I didn't show them. I'm trying to see if they have anything new. Nope. Those been there since the last time I've been there. We saw those earlier. Seattle Mids. Those. The want to be off whites. Hard pass. And I think that's about it that's in here. I gotta get a pair of these. Look what I found. They got the all white Air Jordan 1 Lows. And also, they got the Mids. Y'all can customize these if y'all choose to. I'm only showing you guys what's in the building just in case you live earlier and y'all want to drive to like Florida Mall. If y'all want to make it downtown for the trophy room or go to Mall Millennia, they do have a few shoes in here for kids. The 7s, the 13s, even the ones up top, which is called the Stealth. The Stealth? Stealth. Georgetown 6s, some more mids. Hard pads on those. So, it's quite a bit of stuff in here. All right, man, we out. Why not, y'all? Why not? I'm actually going to walk over there. We're going to go to DTLR. Haven't been there in months as well, man. It's going to be the last stop, I promise. This is it. So this is the Hibbit Sports right next to DTLR. They said that it's supposed to already be in the building, but uh, it just keep getting pushed back and pushed back. That sucks, man. And it's a bigger space. Hopefully it's available for the for the winter, like around November, December. That way we have a lot more options to get more products. So first and foremost, man, I had to come over here and see if I can get these in my size. Now I'm gonna ask about them. Look at this youth though. So probably not. And why do they still have these? Why is he still here? Huh? He should be in somebody's outlet somewhere. So he's the last one. I'm starting to see a trend. These are everywhere. I've been to three different stores, probably four at this point, and these are still available. 185 is the price, y'all. Air Jordan 11 IEs. Guys, I've been thinking about buying these in my size. Even though it's a women's shoe, they do have extended sizes. And I found a pair for like a little bit over 200, man. I do like this shoe. I'm thinking about pulling the trigger, man. Corduroy tongue, Chanel swoosh, mediocre leather. You know what I mean? I'm thinking about it. And we're back in the studio. Guys, thanks for watching all the way through. If you made this far, salute to you. What are you guys' thoughts on those Air Jordan 3s? The black cement gold. They took an iconic name, like the black cement white, the black cement, and put it in a future or modern shoe. The black cement gold. I feel like anything in the history or anything in the past should be left there. But it took an iconic name from the past back in 88, 89, and they brought it to the future in 2022 to sell a shoe. Now, that didn't even did the shoe justice. The shoe make and style colorway fell flat. Wasn't feeling it. Now, on top of that, it was a women's shoe. So clearly, it wasn't meant for guys, but if they had extended sizes, I don't see nobody running to buy that shoe at all. And to use the black cement, our iconic name, to put on that shoe, to push the potential monetary value of the shoe, 
also failed. <laughs> but moving past that, we also took a look at those IE11s, the org wood brown. Don't even look like a brown to me. But if I've never seen an org wood brown before, I saw it today in that uh, Air Jordan IE org wood. Look more of a tan, stone white. That's what it looks like. I'm not mad at the IEs. I do own a pair of IEs. I like IEs. It's pretty much a different iteration of the Air Jordan 11 lows. That's what the IE is. I don't know. I think the refs used to rock IEs. I could be wrong. I feel like it's a ref shoe when I think of it. It's well ventilated. I'm not even sure if Michael played in the IE. I could be wrong on that too as well. I did no research about the IE prior to doing this video. So please forgive. Please forget, if you guys know more about IE, feel free to shine down in that comic section. That's what it's there for, man. It's there to create conversation back and forth so we all can be educated, even the creator himself. Outside of that, man, we also took a trip to Trophy Room, take a look at those airships. Remember airships wasn't a thing 30 years ago? Maybe it was a thing 30 years ago, but Jordan Brand kind of swept out on the rug and there was even a petition to bring that shoe back. It wasn't until recently we got the shoe back, first iteration of it, and I think it came in a pack. Then the second one was like a bread colorway, I believe. Or it could be, yeah, I think it was the bread colorway. And now we got a white and orange airship. I believe that's the airship, or a variation of the airship. Again, did no research, but that's what it looks like. I'm only giving you guys my commentary based off my first interpretation of the shoe. It's going for 150, so it's very, very well priced, I believe. It does have the Nike Air tongue tag on the tongue, that's dope. It also has the Nike Air on the back of the heel as well. The quality is subpar, you know, like any Air Jordan ones back in the days. Reminds me of the mid leather, but not quite, you know what I mean? Because they got to give the first few shoes the premium style to get people kind of like engaged and copping that shoe. But I'm happy to see a different iteration of the Air Jordan or a version of the Air Jordan. Or is it a Nike shoe? I don't even know what the box looked like. Matter of fact, if you guys have any information about that particular shoe, the orange and white shoe that we saw in the trophy room, chime in down below as well. That's why the comment section is there. We also swing by Hibbit Sports. We also swing by DTLR. The only thing common with all the sneaker stores that I visited, they all had the Air Jordan 11 IE in stock. <laughs> so I feel that shoe ain't going nowhere no time soon, unless it pulls up to the outlet. And then Jordan Brand decided to drop the price. And then maybe, maybe at that point, moving, like off the shelf. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you listening. Um, chime in down below, comment what you thought, if you picked up any of the shoes, whether it's the three or the 11, or even those airships as well. Um, I think that's it, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.